Hey guys, this is Geeky Gyanchos and today we are going to talk about the new screening procedure of IIM Ahmedabad. So let's get started. See, this is the official website of IIM Ahmedabad and the admission procedure for the latest batch. So let's look at the eligibility criteria. It is just the same. Your candidate of a general category must have at least 50% marks in his undergraduation and if he belongs to a reserved category, he has to have a minimum of 45% marks. But if you recall, I just said that this is a new screening procedure. Why is it so? Uh, I am Ahmedabad does put into account an application rating score in order to shortlist its candidate for the interview call. Now the formula that was used previously for calculating the AR score has changed from the formula that is going to be used now. So what is an applica application rating score? The application rating score is a cumulative score calculated by I am Ahmedabad as per a candidate's uh, class 10th marks, 12th marks and his undergraduation marks. Previously they used to take in account a master's marks if you did had a master's degree and if you had worked somewhere else the work experience was taken into account but now they are not so if a candidate does have a work experience or he is a fresher it doesn't really matter now this total screening process can be divided into two major groups step one and step two see you have to be eligible or you have to qualify step one in order to be eligible for step two so what is step one the step one is nothing but the candidate should have the minimum cutoffs individually in different sections and also he should qualify the overall cutoff. See if he is a general category student, he should have a minimum of 70 percentile marks in verbal and reading comprehension, 70 percentile marks in data interpretation, 70 percentile marks, a minimum of 70 percentile marks in quantitative aptitude and a minimum of 80 percentile as an overall percentile. See as per your category, I think you, you can uh, easily find out what is the minimum percentile marks required. See, as an SC, you have to have a minimum percentile marks of 60 in verbal and reading comprehension and so on. So, if you have qualified with the, these, then you are eligible for step 2. Now, what is step 2? In step 2, the application rating score is calculated. It is easy process. See, whatever percentage a candidate, a candidate has achieved in class 10th, as per the rating score, you can find out, name it as A. Now, uh, whatever the percentage he has uh, achieved in class 10th, the 12th, as per find out the rating score and name it as B. See, you have also got the three different streams. Whatever stream you have, you have to pursued in your class 12th then just select that stream. Whatever percentage you have got, find out the rating score and name it as B. And again, similarly, just find out whatever percentage you have achieved in under graduation, find out the rating score and name it as C. See, here you will see AC1, AC2, AC3, AC5, AC4. What are these? These are nothing but, see, AC1 stands for medicine and surgery, AC2 for chatter accountancy and so on, AC3 for these, 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 AC4 for engineering, AC5 and like these. So, I have taken a candidate, a virtual candidate with some virtual marks and let's find out his application rating score. So, let's take a candidate with a science background in class 12 and currently pursuing a BTEC degree. Let's assume that he has achieved 91% uh, marks in his 10th, 74% marks in his 12th and has a 67 percentage marks in his undergraduation and in CAT he has scored 190 out of 300. So what would be his application rating score? In 10th he has 91 percent marks. Uh, 10th 91 above 90 that is 10. He has a application uh, he has a rating score A that is his A is 10. See A is 10. 12th he has achieved 74 percentage and remember he is a science stream student. 74 percentage in science stream is 5. So his B would be 5. B would be 5. Similarly, his undergraduation marks is 67 percentage. See, undergraduation marks 60, and he is a BTEC student. BTEC means engineering, means AC4. So, 67 percentage in AC4 is 3. So, his C would be 3. So, his C would be 3. Now, what is AR? AR is nothing but A plus B plus C. So, his AR is 10 plus 5 plus 3, that is 18. Now, you have got the AR of that virtual candidate I just created. What next? You have to find out his normalized AR score. Now what is the normalized AR score? Normalized AR score of an applicant is equal to their AR score divided by the average of the top 50 AR scores of the applicant's pool. Now if you are a general category student, you can take it as granted that the average of the top 50 AR scores would be a perfect one, that is 30 out of 30. Because there are so many good students, uh, who, and at least 50 there would be in total India that who has achieved uh, more than 85 percentile, percentage marks in his undergraduation and 90, above 90 and above 90 in both his boards. 
so take it as granted that if you are a general category student the top uh, the top uh, 50 ar scores would be 30 out of 30 that is a perfect 30 so what would be his applic- see if you are a gen- uh, reservation category student i don't know what your what would be the average of the top 50 year scores but if you are a general category student yeah it is going to be so now we have to cal- calculate the uh, normalized ar score normalized ar score is what ar score divided by the average of the top 50 ar scores which i am taking in this case as 30 so uh, the normalized ar score would be 18 out of 30 that is 0.6 So you have got your application rating score. You have got your normalized AR score. Now what next? You have to calculate your composite score. See, this is the final step. The composite score is the score uh, uh, by which the shortlist is created, and as per it, the interview, the inter, uh, the calls are given for interview. So composite score equals to point three of your normalized AR score and point seven of your normalized overall score in CAT. See, you have got your normalized AR score, but what is the normalized overall score in CAT? so nobody can tell exactly what your normalized overall score in cat but by this you can get an overall idea where you stand see whatever marks the candidates achieve this is 190 divided by total marks whatever it is take it as the normal uh, normalized overall score in cat yeah it is not exact but if you take this you will get uh, a vague idea where you understand and uh, you will get an overall idea where you stand now so the composite score i have got i have taken this at 0.633 so what would be the composite score The composite score would be 0.3 into AR and 0.7 into normalized CAT score. And what is normalized AR? It is 0.6. So 0.3 into 0.6 plus 0.7 into 0.633. Here would be it would have been 0.633, but 0.633 and 0.6 doesn't make a very big difference. So 0.3 into 0.6 is 0.18, and 0.7 into 0.6 is 0.42. Thus, the total is 0.6. Thus, the composite score of the candidate that I just created and the virtual one is 0.6. now based upon our experiences we would say that if you have a composite score of 0.7 and more you are very likely to get a call from iim ahmedabad so as per it my candidate in here doesn't get a call from iim ahmedabad but if you see he didn't have such a good marks in his 12th or under graduation which is the thing that has played a role that after having such a good marks in cat also he wouldn't get a call in uh, from iim ahmedabad So that is it now. As uh, that is it now, guys. I have uh, told you how to create your how to create and score, uh, calculate your composite score. By this composite score, if it is point seven and more than point seven, you are very likely to get a call from IIM Ahmedabad. If you are not, and because of your previous marks, you are getting you are not getting or not getting a call from IIM Ahmedabad. Don't be disheartened, because there are many colleges like IIM Calcutta, IIM Indore, and many others who doesn't give such a good preference on board marks. see but if you do have a very not if you don't have a good board marks don't be disheartened yaar yeah? please give the cat exam as good as you can because who who knows if you can get a 100% a total 100 percentile which would be a 0.7 uh, the point of the cat score would only bring you a 0.7 and you you would get a call so whatever your previous board marks it would have been you can't change it sir, now na right so just give the cat exam as best as you can and wait for the call So guys that's it for now uh, we here at Geeky Gyan Chow I hope you did like the video uh, if you have given information from it and like the video please don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any queries feel free to write in the comment section below and for more such videos stay tuned to our channel by subscribing the subscribe button thank you